Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Back here at home, uh, we're approaching a return to, would you say, normal as far as the temperatures and <clears throat> possibilities of, go <clears throat> ahead, I'll keep talking. I'm not sick. Possibilities <laughs> of, of snow. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year way. to you. Um, yeah. It's above average a little bit tomorrow, but I think more importantly, the sun comes out. Oh, that'll be and nice. And some of us haven't seen it in a week. So it's been kind of a depressing stretch, yeah. especially last week when we had the fog and the mist. But the year 2023, of course, in the books now. And so the average temperature for the year can be calculated. And it comes out to be the warmest year on record. That's hard to do. It's hard to really get in the top five, or maybe it used to be, because you look at all these years here, one all the way down through five, they're all recent, all, all since uh, 2012. So just goes to show you how much warmer things have been of late and continue to be, especially when you average things out. Of course, there's still cold spells and that'll be how things go. But um, then you have the, the rain and the warm ups mixed in. And that's kind of how we had a rocky December with all that snow melt and the flooding there just a couple of weeks ago. SUNY Plattsburgh right now temperature is 22 with the calm wind. The water in Lake Champlain is still 40 degrees. But you go to the base of Whiteface, it's 13. Lake Placid is at 15. And Cabot right now checking in at 18. So it is a cold night, coldest, where the clouds have parted. So if you look up and you see the stars, you'll know you're one of the colder spots tonight. We're down to 20 in Brattleboro. There was some sunshine there earlier, but uh, there's still some pockets of low clouds out there between about two and 3,000 feet up. That's not very high in the sky as clouds go. So we may wake up with a few clouds and spots, but I think we turn pretty bright through the day, especially the afternoon hours here. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. A lot of us have the sun first thing, but you see how it turns even brighter by the afternoon hours. And then the clouds are back on Wednesday. There will be some snow showers, some flurries around. I don't think those are a big deal Wednesday. But by Thursday morning, the snow showers have a little bit more with them as they come through a little bit more moisture a little bit heavier for a time you see this band here in northern new york four o'clock thursday morning it keeps drifting south so it may be just enough for an inch or two but it's during the morning hours especially during the morning commute and it really only takes that first inch or two for some slippery travel. So we'll watch for that. It's possible the sun even starts to come out a little bit by later on Thursday after the snow. So this is the snow map for the flurries on Wednesday. Basically nothing. You see the Adirondacks may get a little dusting on Wednesday. But the map lights up with a little bit more action there with those Thursday morning snow showers. Generally the potential for an inch or two across the region, especially in the mountains where it may be a little bit more like three inches or so. Now as we go along, it turns colder uh, for late week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, cold enough for snow. Temperatures in the upper 20s and lower 30s. We will have a storm riding up the east coast. Not all of the parts are there for a perfect scenario or a classic setup, but there's going to be a storm coming up the coast. The question is how far north does it get? Maybe it gets shunted to the south. There have been and will be indications for a couple days at least that maybe this stays over southern New England into the mid-Atlantic. Hasn't snowed in years in parts of the mid-Atlantic. However, if it comes farther north, we would get snow. I don't think that's uh, a question. You know, we've had all those storms with the rain and snow mix, marginal temps. That's not what we're dealing with over the weekend. It's cold enough. It would be snow. We just have to see if the moisture makes it in. That would be Sunday if it happens. And then uh, early next week, we warm back up close to 40 by Tuesday, later in the forecast. Brian? All right, Tyler, thanks.